Hi, I'm Gail Callahan, creator of The Color Grid. Today we're at Taylor's Tavern in Greenfield, Massachusetts to show you how a chef can use the color grid to create more appealing dishes. There are many ways to add color to a dish. Most cooks use different garnishes, plates, and even napkins to accomplish this. I will show you how to use my color grid to choose the right colors to give your dishes a touch of color and make them look more appetizing. We spoke with Chef Chad at Taylor's Tavern to hear his opinion about adding color to a meal. I think people notice when you add extra color to a dish, um, it's definitely, if it's a bold garnish, it's one of the first things that stands out and once again, people eat with their eyes. So. Our first entree is a very plain and simple pasta and shrimp dish. To get started, take your template and hover over the color which represents the major color in this recipe. In this case, the noodles are the base color, which is the yellow family. Next, line up the circles of the template in the yellow family. Now look to see what color lines up in the slot of the template. In this case, it falls in the blue family. This is why we decided to use a blue plate. Chad also added some red tomatoes as color to improve the dish even more. Now doesn't that dish look much more presentable with the color added? Our next entree is a beef dish, one of the favorites at Taylor's. These are marinated pieces of beef on skewers. To start and for added interest, I decided to change out the oval plate for a circle. We took the color grid and lined the template circles up on the color of the main piece of food, in this case the beef. We landed in the red-orange family. Now looking in the slot, the green family appears, and that is why Chad selected the star fruit and parsley to tie all the colors together. Another great dish improved by using the color grid. The last dish we will garnish using the color grid is a yummy dessert. We chose this very bland cheesecake as an example of how simple it is to make it look much more appetizing using some simple additions. First, I decided to change out the plate to give the dish a more exciting look. We decided not to select the color of the cheesecake because it really has very little color. Instead, we focused on the first color added to the plate, which is a green sauce. We lined the template circles in the green section of the grid. What appears in the slot is the red section, and this is where the garnish color is selected. Let's now watch the dish unfold in an array of color. Doesn't that cheesecake look tastier and more appealing now? As you can see, the color grid works well in food presentation in giving you the confidence to find the right colors that will work well with your dishes. Experiment, play around, and have fun. The subtle changes will make your food look much more appealing. But don't stop using it when you're finished garnishing food. Use the color grid and apply it to more projects where you need help choosing color. Let the color grid help you build confidence making color choices in all areas of your life. Make color a vital part of your world. If you have any questions about the color grid or how to use it, feel free to contact me at colorgrid.net.